Today, I've got a brand new product to show you that could potentially save you a lot of money. What is it, you ask? Stick around and I'm going to go over it and show you all the benefits, the details, and how amazingly affordable it is. So let's get to it. So I'm going to start this out with a quick little story. Many years ago, when I bought my first home, I had come home early for lunch and was surprised that when I opened the door, my entire kitchen and dining room floor was covered in about two or three inches of water. Turns out there was a pipe that had burst underneath my kitchen sink and it had been running for God knows how long. So got the water turned off and of course it cost me a ton of money. Yes, I had homeowner's insurance, but the inconvenience, the cost of deductibles, and there were some other items that had damaged that wasn't necessarily covered by home insurance. So it was just a hassle, complete, absolute mess. They had to replace some flooring, walls, not something you wanna go through. Which leads me to this product, the brand new SwitchBot water leak detector. Now, if I had had this, I would have got an alert as soon as it started leaking and I could have rushed home and turned the water off much sooner than what I did. Probably would not have had three inches of water in the kitchen in the dining room. Now, there might have still been some damage, but I imagine it would probably have been far less problematic had I been able to get home and turn that off. So this here is the actual sensor. And as you can see, its size is extremely small, very inconspicuous and you can pretty much put it anywhere because it's so small and inconspicuous and there's no you know plug that you have to plug in it's battery operated and they say that you can get two years out of two AAA batteries that's a long time so you can pretty much set it and forget it unless obviously you have a water leak then you're going to get notified but man i sure wish i would have had this so i'm going to show you some of the features and some of the benefits of using this and you're going to see that the cost, it's a no brainer. You definitely need to get one for your home, whether it's to protect for leaky pipes, you can actually put it, you know, out where like, if let's say you live in an area that's prone to flooding, you can put it in a doorway, a garage. That way, if there's water encroaching, you're going to get notified because there's several different ways that this can actually have detection. So let me show you the website real quick and so we can go over some of the benefits. Okay, so as you can see, this is SwitchBot's website and you can see right here, 18 bucks. I mean, that's so cheap. Why would you not want one, <laughs> you know? And what's really cool, if you have any other SwitchBot items in your home, this can work with those to provide you a lot more detailed information as to what's going on. So it does connect to the app, as you see here. And as you see, they actually have other items listed, but um, you can connect it to your SwitchBot app. If you don't have any of the SwitchBot products, then you can just download the app and, and you'll have this product in the app, which will give you the ability of having the alerts. So one cool thing is all the different ways that allows you to have alerts. And you kind of can see in this picture here, it's got this like little cord that, you know, this is mounted to the wall. This goes into this, I assume it's a bathtub, but it allows you to have level detection. So like if you wanted to know when the water got to be two feet in a particular area, right? Which that's kind of high, let's say six inches. You would place that at that six inch mark. So as the water rose and when it hit that sensor, those little contacts, then it's going to alert you. So you can set it to a particular level to where if you have to be aware of something filling and then like to where you can stop, turn it off, whatever the case may be, that's a great way to do that. So there's no hub necessary. It connects with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And the fact that it uses wireless is fantastic because obviously you're not gonna be you know, in Bluetooth range when you're not at home. So the Wi-Fi connectivity allows it to have the alerts sent to you regardless whether you're at the house or not. And you can see here the drip immersion water level detection that I was just talking about. 
The contact sensors are also on the actual body itself. You can see those right there, which allows for drip immersion, water level detection, unlimited device support. I mean, I guess you could have as many of these as you want, which is pretty cool if you want to monitor several areas of your home. I'm actually probably going to get one. So this is going to go under my kitchen sink. I'm probably going to get one for the garage because that's where our water heater is. So if that ever busts, I want to know that. And um, I'll probably put one maybe up in the upstairs sink. So that way, if something does happen there, I uh, will get notified before it starts running out of my ceiling. My um, brother and sister-in-law literally just the other day had an issue where they had a water heater break and it was up in the attic and it they didn't know about it until there's water running out of the ceiling. So this would have come in really handy for them. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to tell them about it. <laughs> so, but you can use it with Alexa, Google, Siri, IFTTT. And if you don't know what that is, that is if this, then that. It's an app and a service that allows you to set parameters that if this happens, then do this, so to speak. Uh, so that's pretty nice. You can have it part of your home automation. And of course, as I was saying, you get the remote alerts. So no matter where you're at, because it has Wi-Fi connectivity, you're going to be able to be notified. So even if, let's say you're on vacation and something were to happen, you'd be able to call a neighbor, family, friend, uh, and head over to the house to, you know, correct whatever it is to be corrected, turn water off, whatever the case may be. And in my case, with all my door locks that I have that are all remote controlled, my garage door is remote controlled. If I had to let somebody in the house, I could open doors for them to get in and shut the water off if needed. This just shows you, you know, you can place them pretty much anywhere you want. I don't know why they show them with one in the bathtub. I mean, if you're feeling your bathtub, you're going to be watching it. <laughs> you don't need to be notified when it gets to a certain level. But I guess it's a good way of showing how that water level detection works. And again, this just shows you here. So the dripping, you have this top sensor. And... If you look, there's actually two, a sensor on the bottom. So when it's sitting on the ground, even if it's just a little bit of water on the bottom of the sensor, it's going to notify you. It doesn't have to necessarily like get as you know thick as the sensor, which is good. So here's the different ways that it's going to notify you if something happens. Um, it has an audible alarm that you can hear. You can send text messages. You can have app notifications you can have emails there's a lot of different ways you can set this up to be able to notify you if there's a leak that's happening and again with integration with google and ifttt smart things you pretty much have every smart home ecosystem capability that you can use with this so your options are almost unlimited as to how you can control it, monitor it and whatnot. It is waterproof. So I suppose like you could probably put this maybe outside. I don't know that I put like a direct sunlight, but if you had like a shaded area or maybe under your basement uh, in your crawl space, you'd be able to put this in the crawl space. That way you'd know if water's, you know, rising underneath your house. And of course they say you get two years battery life. That is a lot of life for two AAA batteries. Uh, but I guess it's not really using a whole lot of power just to kind of stay in detect mode, but that's still a long time. I hope that's true because that would be awesome. So those are the details. And as you can see, there's a lot of benefits to this device. And the fact that it's 18 bucks for one, you can buy multiple, two, three, four, whatever. And they actually give you a discount for a higher quantity. So if the more you buy, you can get discounted. And right now, I think they even have a coupon on their website. I'm going to link in the description to this product on um, Amazon. And you can go check it out for yourself. I am an affiliate. So if you happen to purchase from that link, I will get an affiliate commission. So I greatly appreciate that. Kind of helps keep the channel uh, rolling and up and going. And the nice thing about Amazon, when they put their items on Amazon, they also let you use the discount 
at Amazon as well. So uh, you don't have to worry about you know missing out on any kind of coupons or anything like that. Now, another cool feature of this device is when it does detect water, you can actually have the SwitchBot indoor 2K camera move to an area of the room for you to see what's happening. So when this alerts, the camera gets notified basically, and it's got a pre-designated area where it's going to move its camera to because it's a pan tilt zoom. So it has the ability of moving and it's going to be able to move to an area that's designated so you can see what's happening without necessarily having to run home. That's a pretty cool feature. And I do happen to have a camera. So you definitely need to go watch this video here that goes over that SwitchBot camera because it's a pretty awesome camera as well. And we'll see you in the next video.